morning, this is Desiree, and today I am going to do a what's in my bag, what's in my pen case, what's in my um, ephemera holder, just a, a variety of things like that because I am packing up uh, for a road trip. And I want to bring my pens and ink, my paints and brushes, and uh, paper. I want to bring my Hobonichi and my traveler's notebook. So, um, so I have quite a, a bunch of things in here. So um, it's a really nice morning. I'm enjoying a little last bit of tea. And I'm going to start with the Delphonics bag, which is pretty stuffed here um, right now. So I'm going to start with everything that's in this front zipper pocket. So I'll take those out first. Um, I have a few. If I can put those down there. I have a few uh, just highlighters, mild liner, um, unipropus, a couple of those. So I'm going to put those over there. I have one um, uni pen that has the three colors. It's very fine um, writing, so it's, it's kind of nice for different things. I'll put that. I have my little uni Kuratoga uh, 0.5 pencil. This is what I usually do the sketches with. A really nice mechanical pencil. And um, I am really enjoying this Tombow uh, Mono Knock um, eraser um, because it's, it's so uh, fine, the tip, that I can get in and um, really easily erase the lines in my sketches. Um, so I'm really liking that. So that's in there. I have one Micron um, 01. I think that's the only one I'm going to take, again, because I'm just using the fountain pen so much. Uh, I have a couple of the Fudenosuke um, brush pens that I use for my um, days of the week, mostly the calligraphy writing and the Hobonichi. I have my little sprayer here. Um, I use that to wet down my paints in my palette. It comes in really handy. Uh, water brushes that I'm going to take. I think these are Caran d'Ache water brushes. Different, um, different size tips. That's a really fine one. And then two well, kind of medium ones. So I have those in there. So let's see. So here I just threw in some washi tapes because I just really um, like to use the washi tapes for all the journal um, pages. So I just have a variety there. I, it's hard to pick just a few um, out of the drawer. <laughs> so I, I have a few different ones in there. I have my Posca pens, which I'm really having a lot of fun with. These are acrylic markers. I just ordered a larger set with a few more colors, um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to take this or the larger set. This one fits really nice in the Delphonics bag. And let's see here. Then I, I like to take my little utility knife blade. Um, comes in really handy. Oh, I have my um, my little scissors here. And then I have white out. I have some um, glue tape. I have a glue stick. That's all in those. And then I, oh, one more washi tape that I forgot. And then I have these really nice uh, brushes. Um, these are Escoda brushes, and they're really beautiful. I really like them, travel brushes. Um, so I have 
two different sizes here. It's the larger one. If I have access to a really nice water um, container, I will use these rather than the little water brushes. I'm taking at least two palettes. I may include another one, but for right now, I'm including my trusty uh, watercolors in this palette that I use all the time. There are a variety of, oh gosh, all kinds of different brands. A lot of Daniel Smith, um, some Winsor & Newton. So I have that. And then I put together this other little tin. I can get it open. Um, whoops, that came out. This has gouache in it. And I just loaded this one up. Um, I hope it works. I actually made this um, little white palette area. It's not very big. I'll probably include some other um, palette in there, but that's my gouache setup in there. So I've got those two different um, sets of watercolor. Then if I turn it around here in the front, I have um, a bunch of inks and a couple Lindy's Stamping sprays here. Uh, so I have found that these Robert Oster, this is the really nice um, thing about the, the Robert Oster inks. Even though I love all of my glass bottles, I really, um, I like these too. They're plastic, but they're just really classy. But I have found that these are just great for traveling um, because I don't have to worry about the glass bottles. So I'm going to take a couple of those and then I have a bunch of ink samples. Actually, I'm going to fill this one um, and this one. <laughs> I'm going to have to fill those up a little bit, but I've got um, a variety of uh, different small ink samples. I'm going to have some vintage pens when I get to um, Colorado that my dad has been saving for us. Um, so that's going to be really fun. Um, so I'll have more pens on the way home. And so I wanted to take you know a few different inks to try out in those. And these are Lindy Stamp Gang Starber Sprays. These are fun for journals. Um, so I'm going to put those in there because the brown and the light pink are kind of nice. I don't usually use um, inks that have those particular colors in them. So these are nice for, for spraying. Then I just slipped my um, B-side sticker release paper in that slot. I've got a variety of um, stickers left in there. So that can go in there. So yeah, so that is the Delphonics pouch. Um, then let's see, this has a variety of stickers and things that really needs to be cleaned out, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to take those. This is a bunch of, um, PET stickers in the front here. And then, uh, all kinds of different stickers that like I said, really need to be sorted through and cleaned out, but I'm not sure if I'll get to it right now. So I'm going to bring that along as well. And that over there. And I also have this sticker album. Um, I'm not sure if I'll bring all of these or not, but there, there are a few things in here that I really like too. So, so we'll see how much room I have. So moving on to the fountain pens and i'm going to take my pen roll and i have i love twisbees of course so i have all my twisbees in here twisby go and the twisby ecos i have a little um moon man eyedropper pen there. 
I have my Pilot Metropolitan. Um, this just has black ink in it. I have my new washi tape Kenai pen uh, with some uh, oxblood, diamine oxblood. Forgot to mention what I have in in these. Um, this one has the Pilot uh, Iroshizuku Shinkai. This one has Robert Oster um, Lake of Fire. This one has a sepia a document, oh, sepia diatramentis, and this one has Robert Oster cherry blossom. This has a little um, violet sample, as you can see. So since these all fit in here, um, you know, nicely, I'm gonna take all of those. This one has some permanent carbon black ink in it um, and so this one is really nice for sketching and that is permanent and you know it the nib makes a variety of lines um, this one actually at this very moment uh, this is a Conklin uh, medium point I can't remember what ink I have in there I'll have to look that up um, and then I have my Cavecos, which I really like too. So this was this is the little plastic Caveco um, sport. And it has this really dark um, Sailor Shikiori um, Miruai in it. And I'm really enjoying that for writing. And I really like it in the extra fine because it's very wet. <laughs> and... And then I have my um, Caveco Brass Sport, and that one has a longtime favorite ink, um, which is a Kobe Ink Company. Uh, kind of a beautiful purple gray, um, soft snows of O'Hara. So those are the pens I'm going to take. And like I said, I've got about 10 vintage pens at my dad's waiting. Um, to be sorted through and cleaned and and uh, tried out. So anyway, so that's the pen roll. I put all of these in a bigger bag, but I'm not gonna um, stuff them all into that right now. <laughs> all right, so there's that. Um, these are the three journals that I'm gonna take. This one is my um, ink journal, currently inked, and swatches. I'm going to take that um, in case I get some more ink there too. This is um, these little notebooks are Tomoe River paper, and um, I like keeping track of the inks in that. This is a little passport size traveler's notebook. Uh, from Linden Tree, uh, which is really nice. I'm going to take my um, traveler's notebook. I have it um, with new journal booklets that that are just waiting um, because I've been using my Hobonichi, but I really miss the <laughs> the traveler's notebook too. So I've I've got some plans for it. Um, so it has a variety of uh, pages papers in it. So I'm going to take it with me in case I want to start it um, over there. And the Hobonichi Cousin um, Avec, which um, I've done a lot of flip throughs and we'll continue to do more of those later. So I'm going to take that. That is that is my main calendar um, weekly and daily pages. So, so I'm going to be taking those. Uh, I like to do writing samples with the inks in this notebook, um, either poetry or um, just little uh, blurbs of things because the paper is so nice and it's very thin. So I'm going to take that one too. Uh, I am going to take one small watercolor block 
This is really nice paper, 100% cotton. Um, and it's got some texture. So I've got a few pages left in that, so I'm gonna take that. And then I'm gonna take my sketchbook, which I've been really having a lot of fun with. This is a Stillman and Burn sketchbook. Um, so I've been doing a bunch of different pages on it. So um, I'll probably do a little sketchbook tour um, here in a while and I'll get some more um, pages done. I think that's about it. I'm going to repack everything and um, I will see you in the next video. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.